Hey, Sneaklings, but today, yes, today we have Solus OS. Yes, Solus. It's Solus. Based on Debian, GNOME 2, as you can see, rather nice and clean. Nice icons. I likey likey. Now, his idea for this, old Ikey, <coughs> give me his name correctly, he wants a multimedia and hardware experience to work straight out of the box. And so far, I've not had any problems. Not at all. I did a video last night, but it just wasn't right, so I've redone it again now. <clears throat> By the way, I have been following it for a few months anyway. I know you can never get it on what, uh, Distro Watch at the moment. It's been in the latest one, so you can put it and download it. And I know his servers was overloaded the other day because obviously people were downloading it to check it out. Okay, so that's no big deal whatsoever. So we'll quickly go through it with you. Okay, so we've got our icons on the top. We have our menu bar down the bottom. So we've got time and date, ethernet connection, and our volume control. Okay, super. So. Does this remind you of anything? Come on, tell me. Does it remind you of anything? Well, you should know by now, yes. It's a bit fresh, isn't it? <sighs> oh, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to go through it with you. So you've got all places, accessories, graphics, internet, office, sound and video, and system tools. And I'm going to quickly go to our system monitor just to check it out, see what's going down. As you can see, dual core here. It's not actually doing anything, and we're only using 116 meg of RAM, so that's pretty reasonable as well. As you can see, I only give it 736 of RAM anyway, of swaps, should I say, because I didn't think it really needed it. I've got a gig of RAM in here, so that should be able to cope with it quite well, don't you think? Yes, indeedy. Okay. Let's step it out of the way. So, apart from system tools, as you can see in there, it's all usual there, so no need to go through that. It's all basic Debian. Sound and video. See, and it's very quick, as you can see. Brazero, no men player, the movie player, a pulse audio manager for doing your pulse stuff, rhythm box I like for all your sound, and the sound recorder, so it's quite basic. But as you can see, it's really quick. You have the full, it's the full LibreOffice suite, so that's here as well. I've actually installed Abbey Word to make sure it was the correct one. Now, being Debian, it won't be the most up to date one, okay, but it'll be doing the job that you need it to do. It will work, it's 282, so that's fine by me, okay? Yes. Back to our menu again. Da, 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 da. Right, under internet, you get Epiphany. Do you remember Epiphany? Now, personally, this is my personal opinion, you might as well take that out, really. It, I don't know, is it been kept up to date correctly? Does it render correctly? I'm not too sure. It looks all right on here. I don't know, you just ain't not right about it. But hey, that's just me, and I'm not, you know, I'm not the distro maker. You know, man who makes it himself, basically. But you do get Ice Weasel, which is an unbranded Firefox, as you all know. Okay, a bit of a drinkage. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Now, that seems to come up better, personally, okay? So, if we put in here, might have been there. That's Solus OS. We've already been there just to make sure it was all working, as you can see. We'll put in our search engine. It's reasonably fast, as you can see. There you go. And there's the site. He's got some mirrors there now as well. There's a mirror in Ireland as well, and Layerjet wants to mirror the project as well. Super duper. This is the version I'm using here. Now, it is an alpha. Bear in mind, it's an alpha. This is Snapshot 49 that I'm using here. And there's the stuff that he's changed. Now, as you can imagine, it's in constant development at the moment. So it, it won't be a stable number one, should we say, for a little while, or until he's finished with it and ready with it himself. And he's quite happy with it. So that looks okay. I'm going to quickly go to the Blubber Cure just to make sure that that page actually renders quite well because that's what I really need to know isn't it really looks quite good to me considering yes sometimes Ice Weasel doesn't actually render the fonts too well but that one seems pretty good so we'll leave that as it is but remember you can get other fonts if you want to you know if you like other fonts that is okay what else do we do okay I could go to graphics yeah GT thumb and leave it off all you get so you can have to download Photox or maybe even Gimpy and some other stuff, whatever you want to use, really. Under accessories, it's all there. Take a screenshot, and terminal and root terminal. Places, it's all your usual stuff. I'll go down to the control center. Okay, we'll click on there. As you can see, it's all here too. Do your compass settings, Emerald theme manager, and the simple compass settings as well. Bluetooth is all set to work, so that's nice too. Set your keyboard and your monitor up, lovely. Add and remove software. Now this is the unbranded software center, okay? Synaptic is also here, okay? So I'm going to type in open shot, because apparently you're not actually supposed to use the PPA. There is a way around it, apparently. But I forgot how to do it. 
Right, the version here is 1.1.3.1, so it's not the most up-to-date bit. We'll have all the extras in there for you. So you should, in theory, be able to do all the stuff you want to do, like dabbing the animated titles and stuff like that. Bearing in mind, you will also need... Blender, which should be in there, and it should be version 2.6 here, I think. No, we're still on 2.4.9. Okay, but that will do the job. It'll just do what you need to do, so that's fine by me. Okay. Super of the doobo, love it. We'll go back to our menu one more time. And back to our control centre. I'm going to scroll down a bit more, a bit more, and a bit more, and a bit more. As you can see, do your fireball here as well. g part is here, as I said. You can use it yourself. I did when I installed it, because when I it said, do you want to auto-install, auto-partition, it didn't do it. So I just went back, used g part to partition the drive, just into two partitions, and it worked nice, okay? Synaptic Package Manager is also here. There it is. So if you want to use this one, instead of using the software center, so some of you may do, some of you may not. Um, but as all the codecs are supposed to be installed out of the box and you should be able to play DVDs, it should be no big deal. Bearing in mind, if you're in the States, you, you know, maybe not quite legal. I'm not sure how the law stands over there. People say one thing and then other people say another thing, so I'm not too sure. But if you don't want to use command line, and you don't need a software centre, so an active package manager will do all the stuff you want. It's all your stuff, really. Download whatever you like. So I'll, yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll do something else while we're here. I'm going to put in Abbey Word again. And see what comes up. Right, and there's all the extras here for Abbey Word, so I'm going to make that larger for you. The grammar checking, so do we want that? Yes, I would rather like that, which is basically a dictionary. So I'm going to mark that for installation. Yep, that's fine by me. And we're going to quickly install that because it's quite a small one. So we'll apply. It's only 654k. So apply it. Let it do its stuff. I bet a drinkage while it's doing it. <laughs> Lemon today. Yummy, yummy pig's bummy. And that's all done. So we click close. And now we've got our dictionary in Abbey Word also. As you can see, it's a rather sprightly system. And also, when you do your Ethernet connection and you install it, it doesn't lose all the settings for your network, which is another bit that I liked. Right, on the whole, bearing in mind it's an alpha, I haven't found too many problems with it, and the menu is quite set out reasonably alright. There might maybe some changes and might have to need to do there at some stage, but apart from that, it's lovely. I would like to see a bit more in here, but hey, don't shoot the messenger, I'm only showing you what it can do. But as you can see, it is really fast, which is really nice. Lovely. It's a 700 megabyte download. Go and give it a try. It's a live CD as well. It took it in a right. This is the other problem I did have. I'll tell you what I did have. On installing, I installed it on three systems. I installed it on this one, which is a dual core, which took around about 35 minutes to install, which, you know, is all right. Then I installed it on VirtualBox, which took about eight minutes. Then I installed it on a quad core machine I've just acquired around here, and it took an hour and 20 minutes. So I don't know what's going down there, but saying it needs to be sorted. That's one of the main, that's the big dig, I think. But apart from that, it's a super Debian-based OS. So I'm going to give it, out of 100, 82%. Sneaky, and Linux, out. I'll see you later, bye bye.